You're scrolling through Instagram and see a striking digital art picture. It's beautiful and compelling, and you admire the artistry even as you assume it's something only certain people can create. You know the visionary artists who produce magic with their fingertips? Those people, the special ones? Today I want to take the mystery out of how to become a digital colorist. The truth is you don't need to be techie and you don't need to be real life painter to learn how to breathe life into an outlined image. All you need is interest, willingness, and a little bit of time. Starting out, I've been doodling and sketching for, well, for as long as I can remember. I used high-end black pens to design elaborate large doodles for friends and family. I've always loved creating and I also enjoyed crafting pottery pieces. Two and a half years ago, I was on maternity leave and was gifted an iPad Pro from my husband, Chris, and discovered the Pigment app. A world full of possibility, I was hooked. Even as a newbie, I was able to navigate Pigment's user-friendly tools, but I didn't yet understand their capabilities. This is what beginner Brienne looked like, filling with no shading or detail, little knowledge of tools and how to truly use them, no shading or highlighting. My pieces were fairly one dimensional, but I was enjoying myself. My experimentation. So as I continued my coloring journey, I started to experiment. Side note, experimenting is totally key. You really gotta start experimenting to grow and learn and began to add nuance and detail to my work. The key to this stage and all stages is the doing. If you don't like something, play with it until you do. If you wonder how you can achieve a vibe, experiment until you get it. During this time, I was trying different methods of applying effects, playing with skin tone, learning about light source, shadows and bright spots, how to follow patterns that make your work look more realistic, attempting highlights and shading, trying out grayscale images for the first time. Now my middle ground, once I had built up a deeper understanding of the process, I was now able to refine my abilities. I got faster, became more confident and trusted my technique. I built a coloring process so that I could be more effective in building each image. This phase saw improved speed, sequential steps, especially when coloring grayscale, significant progress on realistic skin tones and where to apply lighting effects. I got a lot more confidence. I had a stronger technique. So now I feel secure with my abilities. Eventually I got to where I am now, a colorist who can effectively demonstrate and explain my technique to you guys, to users. These days I am speedy like a cheetah or like a non-confused person, <laughs> uh, skilled at color combinations, fluid and complementary, developed a color sense. So I definitely have a sense of what colors go well together, which is nice. It always helps along the journey. Adept at shading and highlighting and skin tone, confident with my abilities, and knowledgeable of all tools and functions. Digital coloring is now one of my favorite ways to express myself. I love the meditative, detail-focused process of building, layering, adjusting, and investing until a piece meets the vision in my head. A few years ago, I never would have imagined I'd be making coloring tutorials for thousands of people from all over the world, but that's where this journey has taken me, and honestly, it makes me really happy. While there was definitely a learning process, coloring is like all artistic paths. There is a beginning, but no end, only exploring. I've been so grateful for the support of the pigment gallery and broader coloring community. Today, I hope my words are an encouragement to current and future colorists on this picturesque journey. As always, happy coloring, your friend, Brienne.